guys on this series we're gonna be rebuilding this 2020 Kawasaki ZX10 just picked this up today bought it from a guy got into a front-end accident with it smoked pretty bad in the front as you can see <clears throat> Rim is tacoed, rotors bent completely, forks, at least this one is gone. <clears throat> this triple is bent, I've never even seen that. Completely shattered the upper triple here. Luckily, I don't think there's really any side damage at all. Tiny little bit right there. Nothing really on the frame. Rear end is pretty solid. Nothing really wrong with the rear end at all. Tiny little scuff in here. Teeny little blemish right there. Really no damage on this side. Somehow the exhaust I believe is bent or something from the tire, I'm not sure. Definitely, it sounds weird when you start it up, so. Bike does run. It did come with the gauge cluster. It's a huge plus. Don't know too much about it, really. Just got it in the garage, so we're going to dive into it. I do know that it runs. Seems to run okay. So let's start tearing it apart. Let's see how bad the front end damage really is right here. It appears to still have most of the components it really needs. Some things are pretty, like I noticed this sensor right here is just gone, so. Definitely gonna need some stuff up front, obviously. So let's dig into this thing, see what it really needs. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start disassembling this whole front end right here because as you can see, it's sitting on the stand and it is all crooked. So I wanna take all this stuff off to get a better look at what's going on underneath, see what's really damaged, see what needs to be replaced. So we gotta start by taking the taco off here. Um, I've never taken a rim off these bikes. So I've never actually worked on a Kawasaki or a bike this new. So probably gonna need to get some tools. I know I don't have these security torques. Like these, I, I think are gonna be on the bike in a couple different places. I'm pretty sure they're on the... I know the ignition's got some different bolts. So that's gonna be interesting getting that off. Cause that is that needs to be taken off because that is broken right there. So we'll get to that. I wanna get this front rim off and I don't have a tool for it. Looks like it requires a special tool to spin this axle out. So I'm gonna hope I can maybe jam this uh, chisel I have in here. Maybe I got something I can get in there and kind of spin it out. See what we can do. We gotta loosen these pinch bolts on each side. Maybe we can get this axle out. Maybe we can get this, get this rim off here. Just gotta take that caliper off right there. Let's see what we can do.
All right, so we got the front rim off. See the damage a little better now. That thing is toast. That still don't look right. You see the damage on the header right there from the tire. I think the axle's still straight. Pretty sure the Brembo's are still good. Might honestly just be this lower triple that's bad. So let's keep tearing it apart. So I got the fender removed, what was left of it. Got the ABS line pulled out, all the lines pulled to the side, calipers are off. So now we're just gonna loosen all the pinch bolts. Those two, those two on each side. We slide these forks out, let's get these forks off. All right, so we have the bike now strapped up to the ceiling and on a jack. And I'm also gonna put jack stands under it because uh, as you saw, it fell off my stand. I don't know why I even thought it would sit on the stand correctly. It's, I mean, that's all twisted and bent and I don't even know what I was thinking anyway. So off camera, I did a little bit of disassembling I just took the clip-ons off of the upper triple. They were bolted onto the bottom with these little bolts just because there was a lot of weight sitting on this um, stabilizer right here because I don't have the correct Allen wrenches to get these. They're like security Allen wrenches. I need to get those, but I don't have any way of removing them, so I just wanted to get like the, the heavy clip-on off of those so that this can uh, no longer have the weight sitting on it. Again, I have the bike strapped up now differently. It's not gonna be on that stand anymore until I can get a front end installed on it. So that's how that's gonna be sitting for now. I do wanna end the video by getting it running uh, so you guys can hear it run. I'm gonna get the gauge cluster installed real quick, get it running, see what it looks like on the gauge cluster. Pretty sure the radiator is completely smoked and it leaked out all the coolant and I believe the radiator actually went back and hit the um, headers as well so there I believe there is a leak right there as well as the dent right there it's hard to see so either way we're gonna start the bike up let it run for a second I want to hear it I want you guys to hear it and that'll probably be it for this video
it's running. Sounds kind of weird. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the header's being all damaged. It's causing it to sound kind of funky. There might even be a hole in them somewhere. I hope that's what the sound is, at least. ABS light is on. I'm not sure if that's bad or <laughs> probably because um, it's disconnected, but assuming that's just the only reason it's on. So other than that, everything seems fine. There's a loud humming coming from the bike, but I think that's probably just um, a servo or something. I have no idea. I don't know what's all on these bikes. So definitely smells like burning coolant. Everything else seems to be fine. It's getting hot, obviously. Other than that, that's going to be it for this video. See you in the next one.